new videos every day. Hi guys, I'm Lori from Total Wellness Austin, and today we're gonna do an eight minute follow along video where we work our core. So make sure that you favorite this video so you can follow along with us, hopefully every day of the week, but at least three times. The first position that we're gonna go into is plank. And I'm gonna have you in plank on your forearms. The reason for that is to protect the wrist. You're gonna extend your legs and come onto your toes and then you're gonna widen your stance with your feet. You want your feet about hip distance apart. And then you wanna take your chest and move it forward, so towards your hand. A lot of people hold plank back, which is not working your core, it's working your arms. So you wanna pull forward, and then you gotta watch your booty. Your booty cannot <laughs> go up, it's gotta come down and be flat, which then in turn, it makes you engage your core. So you're here. Your head should be neutral. Straining your neck up like this can cause neck pain. So you want your head neutral. And then think about engaging your legs. In plank, it's not just your core, but your legs are working as well. So you can tighten your legs, press your heels towards the back, come into the position, and hold. I recommend holding for about one minute. And then lower your knees. Come back and come into child's pose. Plank is a good pose for anyone that has low back pain, doesn't put pressure on the lower back so you can still strengthen your core even if you're having back problems. So the next pose is a variation of plank that will target your lower abs. So you're gonna come into plank just as we did before Feet are wide, about hip distance. Chest is forward, and booty down. Then you're gonna draw your knee up and out. I would do 10 on each side. Make sure you're feeling your lower abs engage. And then come down and reverse it into child's pose. And when I say reverse, you're doing something to stretch the back the opposite way. And then inhale, come up, seated. So our third core exercise is a variation of boat pose. So modified would have your heels on the mat. You're gonna sit up tall, lift through the crown of your head. You're gonna clasp your hands together and we're gonna turn side to side we're still working our lower abs, but now we're gonna begin to work the obliques, which are the muscles along the side that create a pretty waist. And as you turn, you wanna make sure you look. And if you can touch your hands to the floor, then do so. I would recommend 30 total twist. And make sure you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Don't hold your breath. If this becomes too easy, you can make the pose harder by lifting your legs, 
engaging your core, lifting through the crown of your head again, and then begin to twist. One thing to, to think about is try to always lift. The more you lean back, the more pressure goes in the lower spine and in the low back, which can cause pain. So again, it's lifting and twisting. Looking side to side. You should feel it here and in your lower abs. When you're finished, Come into child's pose, just to stretch the back the opposite way again. So the basic, the reason that there's child's pose is because for every motion you go one way with your back, you should always go the other way to balance out the body. The next pose we're going to do is another variation of plank. Again, you're gonna be on your forearms. Extend your legs out and come onto your toes. Widen your feet about hip distance to protect your low back. And remember, booty down, not up. Engage your core and shift your chest just a little bit forward over your hands. And that causes your core to actually engage. Coming back here does not. You're gonna raise your right leg and hold for 30 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. <laughs> then come down, back to your knees, and rest in child's pose. Take a deep inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Relax your shoulders, and then prepare again to do the other leg. So come to your forearms, extend your legs, come onto your toes, hip distance, booty down, chest forward. Lift the left leg and hold for 30 seconds. Remember, keep the hips from tilting one way or the other want your hips lined up evenly. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Drop the leg, come to your knees, and then again in child's pose. Thanks guys for joining me for my eight minute ab workout. If you wanna learn more about me, you can visit my website at totalwellnessaustin.com. Thank you so much and make sure you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel and you should also visit our new website. Because we have over 1300 videos on our channel, I know it can be a little difficult to navigate and find the videos that you want to see. But if you visit us at psychetruth.net, you'll be able to find the videos you want to see and watch them there. So we encourage you to go to Psyche Truth next time you want to search for something. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.